Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to call our meeting to order. Thank you, everybody, uh, for being here. Uh, for the record, today is Tuesday, April 5, and the time is 7 o'clock. Uh, the first item of business is our minutes of our meeting of Tuesday, March 1, a regular meeting. Does the chair any uh, air motion that the ministry include as they written or is there any corrections? I Sir. It's been moved and approved that the minutes of our March 1 meeting be approved. Any discussion? <coughs> there being none, all in favor of indicating the sort of saying yes. 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 Opposed, no. Minutes are approved. We've had no request for citizens to speak with us this evening. So we we'll move on to our main agenda, which we have a, several things we'll move through as quickly as possible. First item is consideration of the Eagle Scout project in Glover Park by Jacob Wolf, and he is here to give us the details of this project. Will you approach the podium, please, and give us your name and address? Yes. Uh, and then tell us about your project. Uh, my name is Jacob Wolf, and I, uh, my address is 8482 Forest Cove Road, uh, Elm City, North Carolina. Um, basically, what I'm just trying to do is I'm pursuing my Eagle Scout project, and I'm trying to put bleachers um, at the soccer field at Glover Park. I've just been playing soccer my entire life, and uh, I noticed that there was a lack of bleachers uh, on the soccer field, and I just figured, uh, you know, if parents come and, uh, you know, their kids are playing, they might like a place to sit, and uh, I was just hoping to uh, run it by you guys, see if you guys have any questions, and uh, let you guys know. What is your anticipated date of completion? Um, I'd say early June probably would be uh, the latest. Have any cost to us to Sir? Do you have any cost estimates? Um, yeah, it's gonna, the bleachers themselves are about uh, $2,000, and uh, we're trying to raise those funds currently. Good. And you're going to do all the work and all the labor and Absolutely. all this stuff? Okay. Good. That's, that's very nice. Anybody have any questions? I understand it's going to be aluminum? Right. Yep. Right. Okay. Okay. And well, that being done, then, does the chair your motion to approve the uh, project? So all right. Thank it's you. been moved and I seconded it, I think. Thank you. Seconded that uh, we approve the Eagle Scout project by Jacob Wolf out of Glover Park. Uh, is there any discussion? Mayor, I'd just like to commend the young man for being what did you say, a resident with an Elm City address who wants to do something here in Nashville. Uh, and and you, be, you ought to be commended for that. I wish I, I hope you, and I'm quite sure you are, you set an example for a whole lot of other young individuals that will come along and watch and see what you do. So uh, once again, I commend you for that. Thank you very much. Further discussion? All in favor of consideration say yes. Yes. Opposed yes. no. How are you, sir? Thank you. Brent, tell us when you're going to cut the ribbon. <laughs> All right. We'll come out and join you. All right. Thank you. The next item is uh, consideration of an appointment to the Parks and Recreation Advisory Board. Uh, our Parks and Recreation Director, uh, Jim. Glover has recommended the name of Brian White to fill a vacancy on the board. Uh, is Mr. White here tonight? He's not okay. The chair here motion we approve of this appointment. So I have second. Any discussion? There be none. All in favor of the case, we say yes. 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 Those no. Accordingly, Mr. Glover, Mr. Uh, the is on the board. Before we move on there, uh, Mr. Glover, how, how many people would that put on your, on your board now? Five, if I'm not mistaken. Five. Five is so loud. Five. Yes, sir. Okay, the next item is a consideration of an agreement with the uh, Department of Transportation which is concerning uh, putting lights out the 64 bypass requires the town to sign a contract with them. Uh, the contract roughly says they're going to install the things, maintain them, and we're going to pay the light bill, which would be like $500 a month. And our planning director has got some information for us on what this thing, how this thing will be configured. Wanting to give everybody a visual of the location of these poles, the number of lights, and then also what our monthly utility bill would be estimated at. So if you notice on here in the bottom left corner in the yellow box, um, this gives you a few details that's pertinent to our agreement. Um, the DOT is going to construct 
the lighting project. They're also going to change the bulbs out in that event. And all we have to do is pay the monthly utility bill. Um, there'll be three poles. Two will be 100 foot tall poles with six cam lights on it. The middle pole closest to the bridge over 58 will be a 120 foot tall pole with eight cam lights on it. So you have three poles and 20 LED lights on it. Um, the estimated monthly bill, which we estimated a little higher, um, is between $500 and $600 a month. Um, so I'd be glad to answer any questions based on what our responsibilities would be. And what material would the poles be? What materials would the poles be? Um, plastic it would be like the ones there at all the other intersections. The closest one to us is the Rocky Mountain one at the um, at the hospital. That's what they look like. Questions? Uh, Chairman, I take a motion to uh, approve the uh, contract with the DOT. Second. It's been moved to say we we'll approve the contract with the DOT. Any discussion? Yeah, I just think it's a great idea. It's been a long time to come, but I think it'll really enhance the area of Nashville. Yeah, you're right. There's a very dark right intersection out there. And as you go into the urban area of Rocky Mountain, lights come out our way, but we just sort of have a car. And this thing's been under discussion now for several years, so we're going to finally try to take it. Other discussion? Yeah. All in favor, in case you will say yes. 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 Opposed, no. Or you will notify the DOT we're in agreement now with the contract sign. Yes. Okay, the next item deals with uh, consideration of ordinance amendment the text of the town of Nashville Code of Ordinances, Chapter 36, Traffic and Vehicles. Golf carts. If you look under your purple tab, uh, we've had a request from one of the business owners in town to be allowed to use a golf cart around town to deliver his merchandise. And our planners have put together a, a an addition to our ordinances concerning traffic, uh, which is based on uh, golf cart ordinances in several other towns, which have before you, there's one in your package, but you have one amended in front of you because uh, there was some discussion about the language and the copy you got to start with. Uh, and I've not looked at the amended, amended uh, document that just got to my hands. But if you want to approve this, we can approve it. If you want to hold it for another, another session and read these things and then come back and talk about it uh, for now, <coughs> whatever you want to do. Mr. Really would like to hold this, and my reason being is I've only had one person to speak to me in favor. I've had three people put forward today to question what we're doing and how it's going to work. Um, and I also have a question myself concerning because reading the, as you well know, then that Bloom Festival in the town of Nashville that we use golf carts along with us to move around town. And I want to make sure that this ordinance doesn't have any effect on what we're already doing. Right. Because these vehicles are not licensed by the state of North Carolina. They use off the golf courses that we're using here in town. And with this ordinance, I want to make sure that we are not knocking ourselves in the head right. downtown. Plus, I like the wording of it. I have got a chance to read it. Because in the past, we had people that come by town bring the golf course with them and operate them in town, which is dangerous. And when we also look at the B2 district, which is downtown, right? Uh, there's greater demand for this area from downtown when people have golf carts, right? They want to drive all over the town with them. So sooner or later, if we start having it downtown, we'll probably have to expand it all over the town. So it's going to require some more fault. So if I could hear consideration that we uh, delay this to our next meeting, it'll stop the meeting. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Uh, if you so wish. Mayor, I, I, I would think that, that would be the most appropriate thing to do because we, we've only, I, the council's only had two days really look at this thing. And uh, we don't need to move too hastily with it. And I have a question about the, the term, some of the terminology that's, uh, that's in the rules and the regulations. I need somebody to explain to me what is meant by operate on or alongside the road. How, how, what is alongside? Alongside a road to me is the sidewalk, uh, unless I'm reading it wrong. What is alongside? That's a 
Taylor, I believe you're referring to one of the items like in section one. Mm -hmm. um, and in your amended copy, that section's been stricken. Actually, Actually, if you look on number on number seven, okay. um, the last sentence, um, it also goes on to say that golf carts may not be operated on public sidewalks to try to clean some of that up. But I understand that it's a lot to digest at one time. I'll be glad to, to work on any kind of questions or concerns you have to bring you back up. Brad, you're going to be allowed on Barn Street. On Barn Street? And that's 35 miles an hour. Right. Yeah, it's in the downtown district, so as long as it's not over 35. And there are also 18 boomers that traverse Barn Street. Yes, ma'am. Mayor, I move to the table this. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Uh, let's not table it. That requires a different set of move. Let's just continue. Let's just continue this. Okay. Uh, the motion has been made to say we continue this to our next meeting to get our language and this thing straight out. We all understand it. Is there any discussion? Incidentally, I've got a copy here with a lot of yellow marks on it. Mm -hmm. I'd like to share it with you. <coughs> I think some of the others have too. We just give it all to you after the meeting to see how we're thinking and get it into the table. Yes, sir. Just for the next meeting. That'd be helpful. Next item is consideration of some items to be uh, sold on surplus. If you look at it in the blue tab, it's an assortment of office supplies and odds and ends of used up books and things in the library. All this will be put on uh, go.deals and we will, uh, or go.deals.com, right? and we will try to make some money on it. Does Chair here motion to declare this stuff surplus? Move. Second. It's moved to say we declare these items uh, surplus. That discussion. If there be none, all the favor can super say yes. 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 Opposed no. Okay, no. Okay, the next item is consideration of budget amendments, which we've all uh, looked at over time. <coughs> this is going to take these individuals. Uh, the first one deals with the fire department. We're going to be moving some labor money around to cover up some uh, Vehicle maintenance and other sorts of things, all of them are allowed amounts of money to transfer. Uh, have had a chance to study it. Okay. So that's coming out of salaries? It's coming out of some leftover money we reserved for a safer grant position that we did not get. So the money's there. It's just a matter of Can the chair here motion to approve the consideration for the fire department? So made. Second. It's been moved to second. Is there any discussion? Everybody know all the favor in the case of say yes? Yes. yes. Oh, no. Okay, the next item concerns the police department, which deals with a drug prevention grant. Uh, we had budgeted $5,000 for that, which is the money we received from the county. Uh, we projected $5,000, I believe, they have given us for the last several years. But instead, they gave us $4,000, so we have to uh, decrease that line item. Services, I think, we're not uh, 
chair here motion to approve this. So many. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say yes. 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 All opposed say no. And the last item deals with uh, the, the budget amendment we had to make that we agreed in one of our budget sections to buy the uh, asphalt recycling machine came in at $79,975. Uh, so we want to increase the uh, budget with the, the streets department by that amount of money to get the asphalt recycled. Uh, the infrared machine that we were going to buy was already in the line of the line item to purchase, so that's not a problem. Mr. Chair, I motion to approve this site. Second. We move to second. We approve the uh, There will be none in favor. All in favor indicate so say yes. Yes. Opposed yes. no. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Matthew, your report, sir. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to highlight that our town clerk attended week one of the Clerk Certification Institute with the UNC School of Government <coughs> in the month of March. The Parks and Recreation Department is hosting a disc golf tournament starting Saturday, April the 9th at 9.30 a.m. in Glover Park. In our planning department, we'd like to highlight that the sheets site plan was approved and that the company was impressed with our efficient process and may consider moving Nashville ahead of two other towns. The construction start date is unknown but could be July at the earliest. Zaxby's has obtained a building permit and aims to open in the month of August. Traffic lights were installed at Nash Crossing and are operating correctly. This is an important step and ensures that there will not likely be delays in the, in the opening of the business. Our Austin Street sidewalk is constructed and the project is currently on time and within budget. Um, in our police department, I'd like to highlight um, the continued growth of our HOPE initiative project. Uh, we've conducted two training orientation sessions that have 32 volunteers currently. <coughs> These volunteers are an important aspect of the HOPE initiative and ease the transition and progress through the program by the participant. Um, Police Chief Bayshore has had several press interviews to promote this program, including WRAY-TV in Wilson, WHIG-TV, which for a documentary on heroin and WHIG TV morning show appearance for the Hope Initiative. There's also been a meeting with probation and parole uh, chiefs in the area to promote the Hope Initiative. We'd also like to highlight that Officer Jennifer Bull was recognized as the American Legion Officer of the Year for the state of North Carolina and that she will be recognized formally at the convention in Raleigh, North Carolina this July. And finally, I'd like to highlight that we had eight officers of our police department attend the cookout at Richardson Court for the recognition of Easter. Thank you, Mayor. Cool. Very good. Hank, do you know um, what might be uh, what is coming behind the Wendy's that look like they're doing construction back over that way? No, that's not something we can say. I, I didn't know if that's public <laughs> knowledge or anything like that. No. Okay. Any other comments, Mr. Taylor? No comments tonight, Mayor. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Yes, I'd just like to compliment Jennifer uh, Bull on being nominated and being being the American Legion Police Officer of the Year. This makes the third Police Officer of the Year <clears throat> that the National American Legion has been involved with, and uh, it's always good to see one of our own get statewide recognition. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is it? <clears throat> Mr. Coleman? Excellent. We're moving along very quickly tonight. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank our, our planning staff and engineering people and Mike Stocks and all his crew for uh, putting his shoulder into our sidewalk project. If you've been over on Austin Street, and you see a very nice sidewalk over there. Uh, they fenced it up, I think, uh, like yesterday with the last bit of grading and stuff. It really looks nice. So now they've got uh, 120 odd days to finish up the rest of the project, which they'll be through by next Tuesday, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It really looks good out there. I hope you're going to fix that cut across the street. 
Okay, good, good, okay. All right, uh, with that said, we need a motion to go into closed session. We have three items to talk about tonight concerning uh, economics, concerning personnel, and concerning the crime and property. So your motion to go into closed session. Second. Second. We'll move to second and go into closed session. Uh, is there any discussion? There be none. All in favor, of the yes. 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 No. Accordingly, we'll assume we'll resume in closed session in five minutes. Thanks, everybody. Everybody's welcome to stay and hear whatever we do.